Hello everyone, bad guys here. Oh, where are you? What? I'm here, over here. Why you are not visible? Uh, uh, what? You cannot see me? Yeah, you're invisible, look. Oh, what the... Will you do something? Wait a minute, I know what to do. Hachi, machi, abra da cabra. I'm back, baby. Thanks, man. You're welcome. Hello, everyone. Bye, guys. Here, and welcome back to another video. How's it going? Everything okay? Good to have a good great day of Davis' smiling face. So smile a bit and keep continuing. In this video, we are going to have a depth review about Canon EA 50mm f1.8 STM lens. In front of the lens we have a 49mm cap so we can use any kind of 49mm filters such as UV, polarized or even ND. At the back of the lens we have a metal mount as you see. Mm, I like it, it is much better than that cheap plastic mount. As you see, the lens is small, but after removing the caps, it became smaller. Ah, uh, look, it is so nice and small and it is about 159 gram. The lens has 7 aperture blades, including 6 elements in 5 groups. And closest focus distance of the lens is 0.35 meter or 1.1 feet up to infinity. This 50mm lens optimized for full frame cameras, however, we can use it on crop sensor cameras too. Remember, if we use it on full frame cameras, we are going to have the same 50mm lens, like this range. But if we use the lens on crop sensor cameras with 1.6x crop factor, we are going to have an 80mm lens. You know, something like this. Which it is good for portrait, isn't it? So which one do you prefer, full frame or crop sensor? Yeah, crop factor. On the lens we have a rubbery plastic focus ring in front of the lens, it moves nice and smoothly, even though we can move the focus ring with the fingertips so easily. Good, but as you see, the focus ring is moving around and around and keep moving, you know, there is no stopping point. So anytime you want to focus manually, just change the switch button to MF, then grab and hold the focus ring and enjoy shooting. Then on the top we have Canon 50mm mark. On the left side of the lens we have just one switch button, MF, AF, manual focus and autofocus. So if you wanted to focus manually just change it to MF, otherwise set it on AF to focus automatically. Let's see what do we have inside the lens. As I mentioned here the lens has EF, means electronic focus, meaning that there is an autofocus motor inside the lens. STM means that the AF motor is a stepper motor, so it should work smooth, fast and almost silent. Let's see the focusing speed and focusing noise test result together. Alright, here we have full frame camera Canon 60 with nifty 50 lens on a tripod. As you see, these are our subjects. First, we are going to test it through the viewfinder, then test it in live view mode.
Now let me load the cab to see the focusing noise. As you see, the focus ring is external. Then we have 50mm, you know, prime lens with no zoom ring. But if you want to have the subject in the frame, you can move forward and backward. And the last one is the aperture number. The maximum aperture of the lens, as you all know, is f1.8 and the minimum aperture is f22. Let's see that together. Let's turn on the camera, here we go. As you see, the maximum aperture is f1.8 and the minimum aperture is f22. The lens is well made and it has a very good build quality. Plasticky from the outside, with a metal ring at the back, but the glass is glass. Excuse me, may I ask a question? Sure, why not? Does the lens have stabilization? Ah, oh, good question. I know, I'm clever. <laughs> The lens doesn't have optical stabilization, but you can get acceptable sharp images even in lower speed. Oh, what if we want to record a video? Ah, another good question. Thank you. Where do you find these questions? Here, you know. Yeah, you're clever. Sure I am. Mm. If you want to record a video, tripod will be more helpful. Especially gimbal. Yeah, especially gimbal. This is a compact, cheap, lightweight prime lens that works perfectly with every US camera. But to use it on mirrorless camera, we need to add an adapter. And finally, it is a great prime lens for portrait, landscape, travel, street photography, and even night photography. Ta da! Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to see more videos and like always, have a great shooty day!